everybody welcome back to my channel today is going to be another good one my name is dream if you are new here but today's going to be kind of an informative video we're going to go over those free things that you can do with your littles this summer in your town and in your community so let's just jump right into it and get started my probably one of my top favorite free activities to do with your littles this summer is get in touch with your local library. Our local library puts out a, a summer program or a summer calendar which is filled up probably mostly every single day with fun free, yes I said free, activities for you guys to do with your littles. Um, they usually have some sort of story time two to three times a week. They even have like a night time one that is usually accompanied by songs and singing and our library does about two to three crafts to go along with that so if you are looking for something to occupy your time and to get out of this heat the library is such a great resource to um, get connected with so you can find tons of fun activities that don't cost you any money to do with your littles this summer to go along with that, also get in touch with your local bookstores. We have a local bookstore that is near us. Near us. We actually did this today. Um, they offer their own story time and they offer some activities as well. So if you want to keep things a little bit closer to home and they ha usually have a smaller setting that you might find at the library, but our local bookstore offers um, two to three readings a week and that is also accompanied by a fun activity to go along with the book so if you guys are, are looking to support a local business go in have a story time find out what um, bookstores in your area do story time and your little ones will love it and the best part about it it is free Okay, the next thing, and I will link this website below, but one of my girlfriends got me on to, did you know that your kids can bowl, go bowling free this summer? So there is a website, I will link it down below, Kids Bowl Free. It is nationwide, so you just enter in your address and your area, your zip code, code all of that good stuff, and it will bring up the bowling app alleys in your area that are offering free bowling for kids. There is, um, so they have um, usually a calendar. Our um, bowling alley isn't too far from our house that I chose. They have a calendar of all the free days that your kids can bowl. You can put in one kid, you can put in six kids. If you are a grandparent and you're going to be watching your grandbabies this summer, this is also a great activity. They do offer a little small upgrade if you want for like a family membership. I think it's like, I want to say maybe $40 for the whole summer where the grown-ups can bowl unlimited as well. I think you need to um, still go with that calendar, but where they can bowl as well. So if you are, I will link it down below, but if your littles love bowling, bowling is all, always a good family fun activity. Um, go check out that website, sign your kids up, and get bowling, guys. Okay, the next one, in your local areas, I love to find out all of the parks. So at least once or twice a week, and this is free as well, I'll have my daughter go through the list. She can pick a park that we wanna go to for that week. Um, for that week, we'll do this about two times uh, a week and we will venture off and find a new park. Sometimes we stray a little bit farther from home, sometimes we stay closer to home. It just depends. And the parks these days are amazing. Find those free parks. We have one in our community that have splash pads and a lot of them have a watering water features. A lot of them are like they have zip lines and all of this fun, crazy stuff, more than I had growing up. So get on that park list or Google the best parks in my area, add those to your list and incorporate those throughout your weeks of summer and it's a great free activity. Grab your kid's bottle of water, grab a couple of snacks and the kids will love it. Another thing with heading outdoors, I love hikes. 
So I love fun, easy, enjoyable hikes with my kiddos. So what I do is I will print out the best hikes in the area and once a week we will pick one of those spots and venture off and have a little fun hiking. Um, I pick a day that's not too toasty. We typically go earlier in the morning. We slather in sunscreen and I just make sure that it's a kid friendly hike. Um, a lot of the hikes, when they will have multiple ways that you can go. So go with your ability. My daughter, my my daughter is six years old, so I know that she can do a mile or two, and that can be easy peasy as long as there's no crazy climbing or anything like that involved. So go check out in your local area um, all of the hike places and we have a few that are a little bit farther away but i'm excited to venture out and to explore more of our texas landscape and um, just our outdoor scenery here in the dallas texas area so hikes are a great choice for you guys to do this summer and they are free which is the best part Another free activity or nearly free activity that I do love is finding those movies in the park in your area. So check your local areas. We have our community puts on movies in the park um, on select Saturdays. There is also venues that are very close to us that have like $2 um, movies in the park. Um, that are put on different days. So movies in the park are great. You you pack your own uh, um, seats to sit in or blankets. You can pack your dinner because they're usually at night. We do have one venue in our community that does it during the daytime. So you pack your own snacks. It's great because kids can watch a movie and then they can run around and it's super inexpensive. A lot of communities do it for absolutely free, but I know we do have venues that charge like a two dollar charge and they do movies in like outdoors weekly so that's always a good choice and then another good choice is the movie theaters a lot of times i know in our area we have five dollar movies on tuesday so those days the kids can go in you guys can it's for the whole family so everybody can see a movie for super inexpensive and you get to see new movies that are out so the little mermaid and i know a lot of people are loving the spider-man movie so all of that move all of those movies those new movies you get to check out for just five dollars a person another free activity that we love to do in the summer is we love the free museum days so check with um, your museums in your area. In Dallas, our free days are on Saturdays. Some museums are always free, like the Art Museum. We have a garden, a botanical type garden that is always free. They take donations if you would like. But yes, so if you have a museum in your area, that is, um, check out the days that they offer free. So our other museums that aren't free, they typically offer like either the first Saturday of the month or um, like the third Saturday. One of those days they offer for patrons, the whole family, to come in and check out the museum for no charge at all. So make sure you go on the sites, check out your free museum days, and you can always go see those museums that are free all, of, all the time, like the art museum and such. Another fun free activity that we love to do as a family during the summer is our local garden. Our um, community has a local garden and from every day they have like three, four hours where kids can go and plant and work the community garden for free. So kids can get outside, kids can see um, how plants grow, the life cycle of a plant. I would accompany this with a book as well, but it's a way that you're giving back and you're helping your community and you are also um, helping the earth, working with um, the land. And it's always fun to get outside and to breathe in the fresh air and just to work with your hands. So check out in your local community or on your local community page where your community garden is and most of the time like mine they're going to be free for kids to work and help and do all of those fun things
Another great resource that we love, my community, they will choose each week a park and do like a theme day there. So we have a building day coming up at one of our local parks. So they will offer like free popsicles for the kids, a free activity for the kids to do, free bubble play. So check, it is you got to check with your community on your community page. There are so many free things for you guys to do. Trust me. In the summer, you have your kids all day, every day. So the more things that you can do and save a dollar or two, it's just really going to help and work towards your family. So check and see your local parks, what free recreational things that they have coming up. So my park is doing a free dino day where the kids are gonna be given like little, and it's put on by parks and recreations for whatever town you're in. So make sure you look up that site where the kids are gonna like dig for dinosaur bones, they'll have a treat for them a free treat for them and then a art activity for them to do but that is it guys so I hope this gave you some ideas I will have that bowling resource linked down below of fun free things for you to do with your littles all summer long if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys very soon with a whole new video